actually started on this farm. So my parents and um, the people that farm here are very close friends and summer holidays and school holidays we spend a lot of time on this farm to earn some pocket money and that's how I fell in love actually with the plants. And still then I thought it was plants I never thought about vineyards or anything. By the end of standard 9, now grade 11, we had to make a choice in subjects. I chose to do winemaking. The first wine was actually at Swartland Winery in Malmesbury. I did a very short harvest there in my second year. Just when I finished my uh, studies, I went to do a stint at 8 Cake in Stellenbosch and that was the first time I made wine there. Yeah. I love the Swartland area, first of all I, because I grew up here. And basically it's one of the hottest regions to make wine, so um, I like to call it it's sunshine in a bottle. We have the most diverse soils in the Swartland. It's the, also the biggest wine region within all our wards in, in, in South Africa. So, so yeah, you can get the same cultivar like a Chenin Blanc from all those regions and it tastes completely different. Young vineyards they act very irresponsible, so they use a lot of uh, water, they produce a lot of fruit, um, not a lot of palate. But when they're older and they, they're actually used to the area, they know what's coming. So in hot, dry years, uh, they actually know how to prepare for that because they've been there for so many years. Like this vineyard is 37 years old. Old vines, it's much more in balance. From the get-go in the salad on, onwards after 10 months of maturation, the analysis looks very much the same. So yeah, old vines is just much more in complete balance. So we end up with this um, winery in South Australia called Langong Creek. Then we went to California. I applied there for a job in Sonoma County. I felt so much in place there. Also the head winemaker was a woman and she was a lecturer at the UC Davis where everybody studied winemaking. So that was a massive influence in my working experience to, to know when I come back what I want to do with my career basically. Then I came back and I started at 8 Cake. I spent there uh, a year and then I went to Soren's in Tilbach, where I was assistant winemaker for four years. So the name Wolf and Women actually is also my husband. A few years back he sent me a quote that said he, he thought about me when I read it. And the quote is, some days I am more wolf than woman and I'm still learning how to stop apologizing for my wild. And I thought it was quite a good fit for my personality and when I needed to name my project I thought why not uh, Wolf and Women. I design labels and then I make the wine because I just love the art about it. And yeah, the designer Ruan, um, he understood it so well and he came up with this and it was quite striking. And a lot of people will ask me, is it me on it? No, it's not, <laughs> it's not me. First of all, a lot of people drink with the eye first and then, and then there's obviously the product. This is a vineyard, it is 36 years old. It's planted on these red clay iron rich soils. So it holds moisture quite well. You will also see it rained yesterday and the day before, but it's still very moist in the soils. And that's very important for vineyards that is um, dryland farm because um, of the soil that keeps the moisture in. It can carry it through the heat and dry conditions that we get in the Swartland because let's face it, it's, it's one of the hardest regions we're farming. So I chose this vine vineyard to work with, not only because it's an old vine and it's an amazing spot. I mean, we just saw it's about 30, 320 uh, meters above sea level, so it's quite cool. It's on a southern slope, so everything perfect for to make a good wine from. People that influence uh, my winemaking career is definitely when I started at Sarnsburg in Tilbach. I worked there with the winemaker Diewald Haynes. It's actually also very ironic because my other 50% of the Chenin Blanc is from the farm he used to own, of his father used to own, so it's actually quite involved. I, yeah, I worked there for, um, with him for four years and he's a very amazing winemaker. Attention to detail is priority there. He supported everything I've done and even when I left there we still talk very often and it's amazing to tap into um, his knowledge. The vineyard is everything. You can't make good wine from bad vineyards, but you can make bad wine from good fruit. A good wine maker needs to taste uh, international, local, and to find the balance between everything. I think that's very important for a winemaker. So what makes a good wine for me, it's obviously you need good fruit. Um, the way I make wine is basically a very hands-off approach. Um, so I wanted to, the wine to speak of origin and, and place. If a wine can show you that after 10 months in barrels, that's a good wine. Um, it's an honest wine. 
I think expanding a bit is obviously you want to grow and you want people, uh, more people to enjoy your wines and learn about Wolf and Women. Also launching a rosé made from Grenache in September and then end of the year a Grenache Blanc, 100% Grenache Blanc. Just adding a bit to the portfolio and then next year I'm going to start experimenting with some other red cultivars as well. You need to work hard to achieve something, set a goal and work towards that. So definitely my mom, I have two amazing sisters and I learn every day from them. We talk very often and it's amazing, they're both mothers. If I have to, to mention somebody, Rosa Kruger, she's just an amazing, very knowledgeable, respected people or person in the industry. And um, there's not a lot of women that has that strong personality and uh, work her way up from where she's coming from. So definitely, if I have to mention something, it should be a... My advice for young female uh, winemakers would be, first of all, um, never give up. I think it's a quite tough industry to enter into um, and it gets uh, very challenging along the way. But I think if you can get the right mentors, um, it, it's much easier and to learn from and to, to get your career started off. Uh, find a mentor that's great and have the time to teach you and guide you through it. Um, I think first of all that's very very important and yeah like I said never give up, um, keep going, um, be true to yourself that's the first thing I think many people uh, um, lose along the way is they try to, to be like others and other personalities and they make try to make wine like other people and that's never going to last so be true to yourself make the best wine you can and learn from the best. Three words to describe myself I would say first of all passionate, creative and detail orientated. <laughs>